Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Gooley, and today I'm with Miss Hernandez from Kelly School. We're going to bring you our special safety program, and we're going to work together as a team from the gas and electric. So why don't we start with the indoor safety first? Sure. The first thing I want to go over is space heater safety, especially this time of year. There have been eight fires since January 1st in the state of Massachusetts involving space heaters. There's a simple directions which we want you to follow. When you have a space heater, it is this. We want to take the space heater and plug it directly into the outlet, to the wall. Now, Ms. Hernandez, can you hand me those two power strips on the chair, please? Come on over. See, this is what we call a power strip. And we can plug the television into it. We can plug our game videos into it. But we can't plug the space heater in. What happens is when you plug the space heater in, it overheats and starts a fire. So when you have the space heater at home, plug it right into the wall all by itself, keep it three feet away from everything, and make sure you have a smoking, a smoke detector and a working carbon monoxide detector because we, that saves lives. So let's just remember, space heaters need space right into the wall, no power strips, you don't bring it into your bedroom because if you fall asleep at night, the covers could land there and don't bring it into the bathroom. Now the next thing I'd like to share with you is sometimes we have to talk about cords in the home. And this is very simple, but sometimes we have basics in life. With the cord, what we want you to do is if it has to be unplugged, always pull it from the head. Don't yank on it. If you have to, and if you can't get it out, always ask an adult to help you. Now, many of you might have sisters and brothers at home, or little animals. They like to chew on cords. Now, when I was a child, we had a playpen. Did you have a playpen growing I up? I had a playpen, My yes. father still tries to put me in it when I visit him. <laughs> <laughs> but the playpen keeps you away from the cords. So I always say, with the uh, small children and animals, you can put them in the playpen so they don't chew on it. Especially now with everybody being home. A lot of preschools aren't working, things like that. Mom and dad can't always keep an eye on the children. So let's remember, play pens save lives. Now, the other thing which I want to just make sure, just some basic indoor safety tips is this. Let's just remember the following. Hair dries and curling irons away from the sink. All right? We don't fool water, electricity, don't mix. Never fool with outlets. We have safety caps. If something gets stuck in the toaster, always unplug it first. And let's remember, extension cord safety. Don't put it under the carpeting. Don't put it between doors. And keep an eye that nobody likes to chew on it. That's so important. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is this point of emphasis. Especially with everybody being home now, sometimes these are left out. So let's keep an eye on younger brothers and sisters and remind them water and electricity don't mix. So that is so important now. We're going to talk a little bit about some outdoor safety. And just to share this with you, and I have to thank Ms. Hernandez. She makes my job so easy. We work as a great team here. Is this, people don't realize a car travels at 30 miles an hour at 44 feet per second. Now, just to give you an idea, say we're going a little faster, we're doing 50 feet per second. Let's count the three. One, two, three. In three seconds, we went up 150 feet, divide by three, that's half a football field, 50 yards. So we, we tell people, is keep your eyes on the road, and it's so important. Because say if you do hit snow or ice, or distracted driving, and you're in that accident, and wires come down on top of the car, tell mom and dad, if it's not on fire, just sit with your hands in your lap, or call 911. Now, Miss Hernandez, I always get this question from kids. What happens if we don't have cell reception? And I tell them, back in the day, there was no cell phones. Mm -hmm. It was tough growing up. We used to have to use a rotary phone. But if you're in that accident and there's no cell phone service, people lose power and they will call the utility. Holyoke Gas and Electric is right in the city. We'll come get you and we'll save you. So don't panic. Sit with your hands in your lap and wait for help to get there. Now. We've been getting some snow, and this is important. Always look up for overhead wires. This is so important. See this service wire here? 
stay at least 10 feet away. And what we want you to do is to understand this. If you have to get close to it, call the gas and electric. We'll come out and we'll help you and assist you so you don't put the metal into the power line. Remember, electricity likes metal and water. Now, if you were to see somebody being hurt by electricity, don't touch or grab them. Just call 911 because if you go to touch or grab them, you'll stick to them like a magnet. But we always tell people, before you do anything overhead, always look up and look around. Find where the danger's at. Know where you're at. So that's important to understand. And if you have solar panels, use the special rake. You just can't use a broom or a brush. Solar panels are very sensitive at times, and you have to use a special brush to get the snow off. Now, sometimes you'll see our big trucks out there working. And what we want you to understand is we put the cones up. That's our circle of safety. If you see our orange cones around the truck, stay out. And the important thing which we want to understand too is with these orange cones, we don't want you in them. Just stay on the outside and we'll be happy to assist you. And this is so important, it's down power lines. I always get a lot of questions about this, Miss Amanda. Any wire on the ground, no matter how safe it looks, stay away. We like to tell people stay tree poles away. Now sometimes the wire looks like it's sleeping, but it's not, it can be turned on. So we always say assume all wires on the ground are dangerous, don't go near them. And what we'll do is you call the gas and electric, we'll come and we'll move it. So stay three poles away and consider all wires dangerous. So you hear that kids, never touch any of the wires. Very important, that's all you have to know, the simplest things. Like Mr. Rouch taught us, stop, think, stay away, and I'll send a video which will be linked to this and you can watch that at home. Now, we have what we have in our homes is natural gas. And what we want to do is, this is Willie the Worm, he says, before you go to dig, call dig safe, because that's where the underground utilities are, and they'll let us know where the natural gas is. Now, natural gas smells like rotten eggs. If you were to smell rotten eggs, run out of the house right away, tell an adult, and call 911. So that's what we want you to understand. And just to emphasize this, we like to do bright colors sometimes, too. As you might see our green boxes. Willie says always call 811 before you dig. And what we want you to emphasize is this. You call 811, that's for underground wires. Life and death is 911. 811 is digging. If you see somebody getting hurt, it's 911. It's the law before you dig, and it's better safe than sorry. Now, just to give you an idea of what the future is going to be like, you probably want to share this in the world geography is where does all the world's pollution or emissions come from? The United States is right here. We're 15% of the global pollution. China is 30. Other countries are 30. Europe is 9. So you can see we're a small fraction, but we're working together in the whole planet to help reduce that. And the way we're going to reduce that is we're going to get rid of coal, plants, natural gas, and we're going to go eventually to solar, we're using the sun, water, hydro, and other types of non-smokestack uh, utilities. Now, have you heard mom and dad talk about the electric bill? Well, since the pandemic, a lot of you, and I want you to understand this, here's where your electric bill is going. It's all broken down in nice colors. Heating your home in the winter is 31%. Back when people were in school and at work, it was only 20. So that's a 10% increase. Also, the lighting in our homes, we're using more lights, has gone up in electronics. So you can see, people say, well, why is my electric bill higher? Well, think about it. During the day, you were at school and mom and dad were at work, but now a lot more people are at home. So this is where your bill is at. Now, what I mentioned before, this is how we're going to make electricity in the future. It's called renewable. That means you can use it over and over. And Holyoke is what we call a green community. It's over 75% electricity that uses the sun, the wind. We don't have geothermal because we are on a water ledge, but we use the dam. And last year we had to close the dam. We couldn't do tours because of the pandemic. 
but we're one of the greenest communities in New England, so a lot of people don't realize that. Now, I want to share something with you, and we're going to come back in the spring, but how to cross the street. And we're going to bring the big truck in, and we'll give a nice talk with the big truck, and we'll do nat more natural gas safety. Would you like to go up in the bucket this year, Miss yes, Amanda? Yes, You go up. I've I'll done it before. I've and, done uh, it before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's going to go up in a year. So we'll see your teacher go up. But it says, scan the street for wheels and feet. 30% of the people get struck in crosswalks by cars. Now, the thing I want you to understand is this. We're in a world of distraction. Headphones, looking at our phone. Before you cross the street, this is the new way. We couldn't do it last year because of the pandemic, but when we come in, we want you to stop at the corner, look both ways, point, that lets the car know that you're crossing, it's like a signal. How many of you play sports, the coach might say, go there, go there, they point, well you're letting the car, wait till the car stops, and then cross. So uh, when I was growing up, you stopped, looked both ways, then you went. But we added, we want you to point to make sure that car sees you, and it stops, and we want to make sure it does stop. So those are two new steps that we added. Don't you think that's important today? That's very important. Yes, and I just want to recap, and especially with the winter we brought in, if you could just, and I brought my friend, Mr. Angel, he's helping us too, is natural gas safety. Just remember, if you smell natural gas, run out of the house right away, don't turn any lights on, go outside with an adult and call 911. In the home, don't go looking for any gas leaks, don't touch any switches, just get out and stay out. And this is the time of year when we do have natural gas leaks and things like that because we're inside. Now, would you like to add anything else, Ms. Hernandez? No, I just want the students to know that make sure that you're listening and you're paying attention to the video. This is important information and it'll keep you and your family safe. And maybe we'll do a the Mr. Ouch color, uh, coloring contest. I'll leave you some uh, copies and Absolutely. we'll come back. And, We'll do some prizes. Great, great. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you in the spring. Have a good day.